This video will overview MSP360 Manage Backup Web Console, each of its tabs, most popular features, and tips and tricks. Dashboard. Dashboard is the home section of the Manage Backup Web Console. It shows the size of your backup data sets over the last six months, pie charts of your current backup plans, your most used storage, active licenses, and available endpoints for remote management. It will also show you information about new versions of MSP360 Backup and other product news. Storage The Storage tab allows you to manage your storage accounts and storage limits. The Storage Limits functionality was introduced for resellers, and we do not recommend you to use it if you are running as an MSP. When you first enter the Storage Account tab, you will be asked to add the cloud or local storage you are planning to use. To do that, Click one of the storage solutions and follow the Add Cloud Storage Wizard. If you are not sure which storage you should choose or how to add specific storage, don't hesitate to contact our pre-sales team for instructions. Users On the Users tab, you can create profiles for the users and companies you work with, assign licenses, see purchase history, and create administrators to ease user management. MSP360 MBS User Management is hierarchical and consists of three main entities. Endpoints, desktops or servers with installed backup software. Users, which can aggregate a number of endpoints. Companies, which can aggregate a number of users. Note that you can experiment with the user company structure and adjust it to your workflow. For example, you can create just two users one for your desktops and one for your servers, and not use companies at all. Otherwise, you can try a more classical approach, one company per client. Let's quickly get an overview of tips and tricks relating to creating a user. One, when creating a user, disable sending email instructions, unless you want your users to do their own setup. Two, it is not necessary to set, remember, and enter the user's initial password to the backup software. This can be done remotely from the Remote Management section of the RMM tab. 3. To simplify license management, it is advisable to accept the default settings and allow users to activate licenses from the global pool. Let's move to the Licenses section. Here you can buy, activate, and assign licenses to your users, and check the billing report for the upcoming month. The Purchase History and Companies tab sections are pretty self-explanatory, so let's skip them and move to the Administrators tab. This section allows you to create entities with granular access to MSP360 web portal functions. These accounts cannot be used on the endpoint devices. For example, if you have dedicated support staff that manages the given client, create an administrator for those staff with access to the Remote Management and Backup History tabs and lock the admin account to the client's company. If you have an accountant, you can create another administrator account with access to the licensing and purchase history tabs. Downloads. The Downloads tab allows you to create the necessary software packages in order to install them on the endpoints later and perform an advanced rebranding. When you click Downloads from the drop-down menu, you will see a slide-in at the right-hand side of the screen. By default, it will have the latest build for the OS that you use during the sign-in process. To create builds for VMs, Mac OS, or Linux, click the Get More button. After you have selected the required builds, click OK and your builds will appear in a couple of minutes in the menu. Note: When a new version of the MSP360 backup software is released, you will need to create new builds of the software. You will be notified about the new version of the software in the Information section of the MSP360 MBS homepage. To update the Endpoint software, you should create a new custom build and select the option Make Public. Endpoints will be updated simultaneously with the start of any backup plan. The next section, Advanced Rebranding, will allow you to customize and white-label your MSP360 managed backup software and web console. Check out the rebranding specification and sample graphics to learn how deeply you can customize your MSP360 MBS. Reporting 
The Reporting tab gives you an overview of various aspects of your MSP360 managed backup usage and allows you to create related reports. From the User Plan Reports section, you can set up a per-user report that will notify you about each running backup or recovery plan for each user. This feature works well for a small number of users and endpoints. If you have more than 10 machines, we'd recommend using Scheduled Reports instead. Scheduled Report is a flexible feature that allows you to create group reports about backup and recovery plans, licensing, storage usage, and backup history. Please note that the MBS console uses the UTC time zone by default. To change this, please go to the Settings, General tab. Other tabs in the reporting section are pretty self-explanatory. Keep in mind that in the Capacity Report tab, you can click any of the storage accounts to see more detailed info on usage per storage account. Remote Management The Remote Management and Monitoring tab is the heart of the MSP360 Managed Backup Console. It allows you to see the status of your existing backup plans, set up new ones, and remotely connect to the user's endpoints when needed. The Remote Management section gives you the ability to create, modify, and delete backup and restore plans of your choice. It's the main place to see all the endpoints under your management. Here, you can also find additional information about each endpoint, including disk space, CPU, and memory usage. The other nice feature of the Remote Management section is the ability to connect remotely to each endpoint with the installed MSP360 backup software. To do that, click the Toolbox button and then Connect. You will need to install the Quick Support Pack to be able to connect to the endpoints. However, there is no need to install any software at the endpoint itself. It's already embedded in the MSP360 backup. Settings In the Settings tab, you can edit general information, switch time zones, modify security settings, and configure integrations with the most popular RMM solutions on the market. We strongly recommend enabling two-factor authentication in the general section. Another helpful security feature, IP whitelisting, can be enabled under the corresponding tab. G Suite's Office 365 MSP360 Managed Backup allows you to backup the cloud email environments of your customers, including the more popular solutions, Google G Suite and Microsoft Office 365. The backup is capable of Mailbox, SharePoint, Google Drive Backup, and can be licensed per account. Help. If you still have any questions, visit our web help section or the form, or feel free to contact our pre-sales team. They will gladly guide and instruct you with any setting or setup feature that you might have a problem with. Thanks for watching our quick video tutorial of MSP360 Managed Backup Web Console.